Welcome back. So I made it home from the grocery store. This is the continuation from yesterday. So what's up? I just washed my hands, my face, feeling good. Cause my glow eye feels so dirty. <laughs> Can't wait to take these clothes off. But um, got the pizzas for the kids. It's Friday, so they have pepperoni. Then they have the cheese pizza. So that way they have the options of adding whatever it is that their heart desires to their pizza. Um, so that's what I first got from Costco. Then I got these rugs. They have these really nice um, rugs for 11 bucks. I am planning on putting one in front of the um, oven and one in front of the sink. So I think that's gonna look really nice, but it feels really good. It has like this raised um, texture just a little bit to it. But I think my robo bag can get all this out if it gets dirty. So two of those. So I'm not getting rid of the um, mats we already have. I'm just putting them on top for like decor purposes. We still keeping these mats. The these mats came from Costco too. These thick rubber mats that are good for standing. I'm just adding. I also picked up the charcoal and gel mat for my tub area. Oh, look how thick this is. Can y'all see how thick this is? So this is from when I got the tub. Um, I have a rug over there, but it's kind of big. It doesn't fit right. It's kind of has to be folded. I'm gonna put that back by the vanity sink area. All right, so it's not a lot um, because I really didn't see nothing. Plus I went to go get this one item for someone else too, and that's separate. So I would say maybe 150 spent, maybe. This, this, the pizza, um, this stuff, laundry detergent, water, that's what you don't see. And that's already 10, 20, 30, 40 of it. Okay, so maybe so, I don't know. Anyway, so I picked these up for the kids. Where's the receipt? Hold on. All right, so here's the receipt. So on here, the total is 179, but let's take off this $28 item. Where is it? So let's take off, oh, it was $30? Okay, it was $30. I told something else. So if we take off 30, so it was 140. Anything else to take off? Banana, something. I don't know. I don't know. I spent quite a bit. But oh, okay. So my bathroom rugs, these two rugs, so that's 30. And then the water is 40. This is 50. So now it makes sense. Okay. Okay. I was like, wait a minute. Who spent what? All right. So I did get this for the kids to try out. The girls, especially on the weekends, they always want stir fries. So it's five bucks on, on um, sale and you get uh, four meals. So they can do this themselves in the microwave, stir, add the stuff and go. Um, last time I bought the tacos and they're not a fan of them. <laughs> they were like, ma'am, where's the taquitos? I was like, I'm sorry. Y'all go eat these tacos. That's what you go do. <laughs> so I got the taquitos. That's another nine dollars. Oh, and I did buy some B12 instead of waiting on my Amazon order. I just went ahead and got this big huge one. That way the kids can take some too. It's five hundred in here. So I just picked that up. I got the clusters. They were like five something. I tell you all, they had been eating all my almonds and all that stuff. So I got them their own. Now I can't wait to try this. I have actually made this the traditional way with hibiscus leaves and the cinnamon sticks and stuff. And if you are, if you know, then you know, right? <laughs> Normally, well, my friends that are Hispanic are from the Spanish culture, okay? They, uh, my little man's get free is girl. They make it and they add a little something to it. That's for grown folks only. And I'm talking about it's good. So I can't wait to try this. It's, it's look like it's gonna have a lot of sugar in it, but um, I haven't made this in so long. This punch that I know my kids gonna be like, but I can't wait to see that it looks on their face. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna actually make it today, so I can plug that in and show you what it looks like and what it tastes like. But this is a dollar ninety seven, y'all. A dollar ninety seven, and you get this big old huge bag, and it comes with like the scooper, so you can scoop and you know, and measure out almost like Kool Aid. Okay, so I can't wait. I mean, it's not Kool-Aid though, right? Okay, anyway, that was too long. All right, so I did get some cheese. The last time I shredded this cheese and cut um, the squares for the charcuterie board, they really enjoyed it. So yeah, I can't wait to do that again. These were still seven something when they're regular 12 bucks. That's a no brainer. So I got two bags. Um, 
some lettuce because they want the salad to go with their uh, pizzas today. Some more spinach and artichoke dip. As long as it's on sale for $5, I'm getting it. When it goes back up to $7.99, we're done. Um, tomatoes for our uh, pico we'll probably make this weekend. And our salsa. Yeah, I probably make pico this weekend. I have peppers, but I don't have onions. And um, I don't think we have cilantro. I know we don't have enough in the garden. But uh, yeah, so we'll make that and we'll make that together again. As usual, avocados. Avocados, $3.99. I'm going to always get those. And these are always like $4.79 or $4.99. So that's why I like to get this big container. And then their bread that they eat. Even though I bought a bunch of bread the other day. Where is it? Oh, it's gone. Okay. So then bananas. I had two packs of bananas, but one had something on it. So they sent it back. So we got one. I'll get some more from Aldi. And then some pops. Some little snack pops. Um... Yeah, so I don't know if they're going to eat them or not, but I am. <laughs> First of all, I don't have to boil no water, do I? Let's see. I hope not. I hope it's just uh, traditional punch dehydrated punch mix. Oh, it's like hard as a rock, too. I wonder if I have to heat up the water. All right. Let's see. You look at that while I figure it out. It says um, makes... Up to 45 cups, uh, one bag, one scoop. It says um, one scoop equals two tablespoons, eight fluids. Okay, eight fluid ounces hot water. Okay, so you can't put in hot water, or you can do. Oh, this smells so good. All right. It's a lot. It's a lot for one one thing. Can't be. Okay, you say so. Oh, this smell good. It's a lot of sugar though, y'all. So this not for everybody. And then you have to uh what is it? Oh look, it has like the raisins, <gasps> apple dried apple pieces, hydrated apple. Oh my goodness. What did it say is in here? Um refined sugar. Which is the first ingredient, which is a no to the no, no, no for us trying to lose weight, okay? It's Friday. It's fun Friday, so just bear with me. Okay, it says um, refined sugar, dried apples, raisins, citrus acid um, as, okay, I should have had glasses on. Something, something, girl, I don't know. Powder, cinnamon powder, apple powder, caramel color, artificial flavoring, clove powder, silicone, girl, dioxide, everything. It has everything. Oh my God. I can't believe it. All right, so it's not gonna taste like the uh, the hibiscus like tea or, or punch that you know your Walitha makes, but you know, we're gonna see. Girl, this is good. Oh, this is good. This is better than that. Um, You'll like this, it's nice. Oh, I forgot to say, you can actually make that let it cool, add ice, and do your thing. All right, so next day. And I think the camera's dirty. That's even worse, probably. All right, so I saw they had some King Sheets on Amazon. I want to say it was 22 or 24 bucks, and they was on like a sale deal. And they were 1,800 thread count. Um, so I picked up some to see what it feels like. And then from there, if it feels good, I'm going to order another pair probably another set oh these feel real good oh yeah all right let me make sure they're not too thin you know, yeah i might just go ahead and wash these see what they feel like because 
Oh, these feel pretty good. It's supposed to be wrinkle resistant. Um, luxury bush, not bush, luxury bush microfiber bed sheet set. Uh, flat fitted something, something. On the site, it said it was 1800 thread count. So I'm just gonna watch them and see. You know, when you have sheets, um, you don't put fabric softener in your uh, wash in your water. Um, it breaks down the fiber, so you don't need it if it's a high thread count. So we're gonna see what these look like and feel like, and then let's get into this oldie haul because that's what I got from Amazon today. Also got a little fluffy um, brush. I want to try this one, and then some seat covers for my outdoor um, chairs. So I got those today. All right, let me take these groceries out the bag and show you what I got. All right, so I normally don't shop on Saturdays because um, you don't really get a lot of good fresh food or whatever. So I'm gonna have to go somewhere else to get like oranges, grapefruits, that kind of stuff because Aldi's just didn't have it. It just it just wasn't the the thing this morning. So I did grab a few things. And then, um, like for Saturday, Sunday, possibly Monday or something like that. And then just a few extra. We got plenty of stuff, I think, in a pantry for right now. We just need to focus on more fruits and stuff like that. So, yeah. All right. So, I did pick up some pineapples to replace the ones they ate the other day. Some garbanzo beans. I'm going to make a vegan tuna salad, you know, next week. I got four cans of diced tomatoes to replace the ones I've used recently. And one can of crushed. I picked up some extra virgin olive oil, almond milk. This is what I wanted to use for my drink that they sent me the wrong stuff. I got some tape because I am going through all my garden seeds and putting them in these little mini Ziplocs and taping the label onto them so that they can preserve instead of just folding the bags every time I open them. Such a pain. So I'm going to go ahead and do that today. Um, onion rings. I picked up two bags of the chicken strips. These are always $2.99 when all these get them. Instead, opposed to like $3.99, $4.99 of the other brands like Gardein and all that kind of stuff and um, the bigger box stores. So I got two bags of chicken strips. I just heat them up, put them on salads, toss them in like uh, maybe, I don't know, olive oil or something, put them in sandwiches. Two bags of beef crumbles. They'll probably have that this week with Taco Tuesday. Um, same thing, $2.99. A pack of turkey breasts for like maybe the charcuterie board or some sandwiches this week coming. I got the Empower Burger, which is the vegan earth, uh, vegan plant based burger. So I got two packs of these. They were half off today, so we're going to cook them today. And the girls and I eat burgers today with some fries. So I picked up some fries to go with that for today. Um, <clears throat> hash browns, because I'll probably make the egg, bacon, cheese hash brown thing for them next week one day they've been asking for it again they really like it i just uh this is a lot of eggs okay <laughs> so yeah i got some little mini burger buns that's all they really had two bags of tortilla chips because we'll probably make salsa we'll just share that with you all when we do uh, i plug in for our bathroom these are the ones we use in bathrooms um two cucumbers i'm gonna wash those and chop them some green grapes. They, I mean, you see what I'm saying? Like, nothing really looks like appealing. So, these will probably need to be eaten within like this weekend. And that's fine. They were like $1.49. It's okay. Um, celery. I end up getting two bunches of celery. The guinea pigs eat the celery too. We eat it and juice it. So, celery is kind of expensive right now. Like I said, it's still a dollar or something. Uh, when it gets down to 50, 60, 75 cents, we'll really go ham. But, you know, teriyaki sauce because they really enjoy this as much as they enjoy ketchup, honey. Um, cilantro. I got two bags of cilantro because I think I'm going to do a hot salsa instead of just the pico this time. We'll see. Red onions. Purple, whatever you want to call them. Some green onions. Mm -mm. And um, some ginger. And then some apples. So, that's all I got from Aldi's right now and vinegar, I believe. I need to get some cleaning supplies, so I'll do that today. Um, this vinegar right here. Yeah, I, I need to get some cleaning supplies, so I'll probably do that today and um, add that to this vlog too. We'll see.
It's probably afternoon by the time you see this. I'm washing grapes. I'm about to chop up some cucumbers, celery, green onions, some bell peppers, and possibly make a hot salsa or a pico. We'll see how it goes. About to wash these apples. Um, yeah, and throw everything in the refrigerator. Oh, and I'm also gonna make a um, Impala burger uh, by Earthgrown from Aldi's. They were half off today. Um, I think the date is for February 16th. I was like, oh, okay, I'm finna eat today. <laughs> So let's get started on our burger. So I already have the Gouda cheese, which is the vegan smoked Gouda cheese, um, arugula spinach, some mustard, and this is my patty. That's what my patty look like. Uh, it's hot too. It's hot. We're gonna put uh, some ketchup and maybe a little sriracha on there. I only got, let's see, one, two, three, five onion rings this time. I can't never eat them all, but I see them and I want them all. I'm so weird. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm just gonna put um, ketchup on here. I'm gonna put jalapenos, cause I want it spicy, a little spicy. I was gonna put some onions on here. There ain't no peppers in here. These kids ate up almost all the peppers. I was gonna put some um, onions, but I'm just gonna put an onion ring on top. That's all. All right. So that's what that looks like right now. My little onion ring burger. It's a lot of mustard. And then a little bit more ketchup for my um, onion rings. And this is my first meal of day, my little lunch. So that is what it looks like on the inside. So I'm gonna eat this and just drink this water real quick. Then I get back on uh, chopping up my veggies and putting everything in the fridge. Some of the cucumbers. It might be one. Okay. All right. So I just chopped this, and when I'm ready to eat them, we just wash them off. But um, I'll get a pre-chop so I can cook with them. Alright, so I pretty much have um, everything in here that's going to go in here for right now. Alright, so we have our spring mix. The celery is ready for juicing. This is for the girls to try to sweep in those udon noodles. Some rice, some cheese I'm going to go ahead and slice up later into some chunks. But um, yeah, it's their little egg section, which they probably need more because these are probably like empty. They could all be in one container probably. <laughs> That's crazy. I'll get that when I go find their oranges today. Um, broccoli, an extra cucumber. And then this is all our jars. So I got our peppers, olives, that kind of thing. 
the dairy bin, which someone just knocked this all over. There, the dairy bin. Like um, sour cream, the stuff you put on bagels. So this is better. I just had the carrots in here with the ginger because um, that'll all probably be juiced within the next, I would say four days, maybe five. Mm. Some spinach, spinach and arugula. This is their meat bin. Like their lunch meats and stuff. I told them not to add this bag yet because the one we just bought to use this one up first. So yeah, that's just gonna go back there. So they have meat and then their cheese container. They still had a bacon that they big for never ate. That's fine. Um, my avocado bin, because y'all know I eat a lot of avocados and bell peppers, some more green onions, but um, yeah, I eat a lot of these, so they do too. So that's why we have quite a bit like that's a lot all right um everything is chopped and ready to go this is for the guinea pigs like i said this is some more carrots some more stuff down there green onions just everything's ready to go cucumbers um i always say slice your own cucumbers don't buy them in packs it's already sliced just take the time out just to slice it real quick the mushrooms and stuff then we have like the grapes green apples some more like berries some of my sweet peppers back here. This will probably just be like those little mini oranges, cuties or something. Once I find them, that's probably what's going to fill up this whole tray. So I hope that I find them today. And that's pretty much it for the uh, fridge this week. Um, a lot of stuff went in the freezer. All right, y'all, just came from working out in the garage, in the garage. So I have pineapples, some grapes, a few cucumbers. This is spinach, arugula, and like a uh, spring mix. Um, salad with nothing but the bagel seasoning or everything but the bagel. Yeah, purple onions, green onions. I have a little bit of the um, veggie um, chicken strips. I just kind of chopped up a few to make it look like it was a lot. Um, I'm going to put like maybe a little small scoop of this to eat with my cucumbers right here. And then, this is the um, pine nut one. So it got quite a bit of like oil in it, but I mean, I ain't ate nothing else. So I'm just gonna get myself, I guess about a tablespoon and something. I'm gonna try to do better, y'all. I'm trying. Um, yeah. So this, the chicken strips from Aldi. They're like $2.99 there. I'm using a little bit of the vegan uh, ranch salad dressing. Just a little bit. I'd rather vinegar and oil, but I don't have, I might have some. I'm not really in a creamy mood, so I'm going to use a little bit of this um, balsamic. I use it when I cook. Let me make sure it's still good. Oh, it's strong. It's still good. I'm just going to do a little bit of this. I should have made a mixture, huh? Instead of just pouring this all over here like this. This don't make no sense. And I'm going to use a little bit of EVOO. Like I said, I wasn't going to use no oil off the um, hummus. Oh, well. Yeah, so this is pretty much what I'm eating. I'm going to have these pop chips. Let me see how much weight we can get down before August. I got my water, my um, alkaline water. I'm about to drink this bottle. This will be my second one for today. And, yeah, here is my salad, girl. This is what I'm eating. It should be pretty good. I should be full out for this for sure. All right, so I'm gonna close this video out by washing about 30 pounds of citrus. I have, is it 10 pounds or five? They gotta be 10 pounds, 10 pounds of oranges. I'm gonna wash them, put them in a bowl so I can have them for the juice. And last but not least, two bags of the grapefruit. They're still six something at, um, HEB, so as long as they're six dollars and some change, they might be seven dollars now, six ninety something. We're just gonna keep just getting these um, every other week. So that's it. I'm about to wash them, put them in these bowls because we now have none. So we have left, and yeah, we'll see you on the next one. Peace.